Well, how you getting on? Sponge Murphy here with another update video for my corn blood reavers. Uh, I think the last video I had to do, if I remember correctly, I had to do four bases and three more guys left to paint. So let's have a look at the bases first. Um, obviously sticking with the with the Nurgle Swamp team, uh, but just a little bit different with these four. I kind of kept them uh, a little less Nurgly Swamp and a little bit more. Uh, ground on it like dirt like these guys are right in the middle of it you know they're going across on rocks and right in the tick in the right in the tick of the swamp but I just did for these four you know as if they're kind of on the edge they're about to start going into the swamp or whatever or going across it uh, with a bit more stones um, and obviously you know you have your sand with a you know with the ground color and everything and as well, you know, you have the cork with the rocks in it as well. So I said we're going to get across it. That's how I want it to look. Um, I said to finish the skull on that guy. I think it's the same on this one. Just let the rock have to finish. You know, this guy looks like he's going across a pathway. You know, in between the Nurgle swampy goodness. Um, and this guy is obviously heading, about to jump straight into it, going across on the rock there. I zoom in to get a bit. focus there you go so I just did like a sand base with a, I had like the small basin tub from a GW kit from a few few years ago you know just the little stones go across it and then the big rock is cork painted like stone just like the like it did with, with the guys in the other video so that was them um, I'm happy with how they're coming out I think like as a unit they're really starting to come together and um, I was thinking about painting the rims a really dark green or maybe a light green I'm not too sure and um, because I have these three guys and the rims are painted black and I just I wondered if I did paint them green would it look a bit better and um, so I might just do one or two just to see what they look like and um, but I, I was kind of thinking a bit more towards the black now just to keep them all pretty like kind of straight forward and um, but I think the green I might just go with the green just to see um, as for these three guys that I had to get done, um, all that's left to do on these is uh, kind of like the highlight colors and any kind of parts, you know, high parts sticking out. So it was pretty much all the same colors I did with the other one, with the other uh, seven guys. Um, you know, you have your, let me have a look at the color, what do I have here? You know, for lead belts, for any silver. Uh, vermin brown for the light brown, scorch brown for the pants. Uh, the fur was vermin brown. Um, fist on red, I think it's called. If I can find it here, yeah, my fist on red for any of the corn parts, which I didn't like. But now, when I was looking through my case, I did find another red. I think it was a scab red. Scab red, yeah, I think it's scab red, and so I, I might just give that a go on in add a few other things in the future. Um, I need a kind of the oh, what do you call them things wrapped around his legs bandages that no, they're not called bandages, but they're like that. That was done with um, or is it a shop to bone? The same with any of the skull parts and a little pocket bag thing there. There's a shop to bone and the, the horn sticking out of his helmet. And um, this guy, which I only know is I have to f do the freaking inside of his neck. I just left that little part out. And um, you know, just a little bit different. I didn't do the, the corn mark in red, just that I left the pure silver. And um, I think he came out pretty nicely. I really like the skin on these guys. And um, usually I like the skin pink, the old Talon flesh that colored used to do. I used to love that color, it was perfect. But the new one that's meant to be the same color doesn't work anymore as good as it so this was a flared one or not flared on flesh rack hard flesh and then you know with uh what's it called the raglan flesh shade over that and then highlight it up with flared one flesh you know and it really looks nice and um, i definitely use this skin tones again if i like i might do my augers um this color so um difference with this guy is and the only knots now as well the there's a, I think that's hair that little mark in there just above my finger I think that's hair coming down over his helmet so I wasn't too sure about that so I might just paint it black just to get it out of the way 
I only spotted there a few minutes ago. Um, he, this guy has horns coming out of his chest all around his shoulders and his back. So instead of just doing him like a blood color, or not blood color, a bone color, I went with the blood for the blood god, <laughs> blood for the blood god uh, effect paint. You know, like the bloody horns coming out. So I think it looks pretty nice on him. I think it kind of sticks out a bit. Instead of just having some, um, you know, just bone colored horns coming out. And his helmet needs a little bit of a tidy. It's just highlights on all these I need to do now. And just picking up on little messy parts. Like some of these blood colours coming out a bit on the skin. I want to tidy it up. Um, now this little arm piece he has. I didn't know what colour to do this. I really didn't want to do it just plain silver. So what I did was I base, base these models white. So I just went over it with a, a ball red wash. Uh, with two coats. And it just looks a little bit different you know. I don't know whether I, I'm thinking I might have to highlight it some colours but I really don't know yet. I think I might try and highlight it silver. I don't think that's going to work though so maybe I might just leave it as it is. You know it looks pretty fine. It looks something different. Um, yeah so just little things to pick up on these. Like little things like that I have to pick up the cloth and all the skulls. Like the, them little things are only uh, you know just a little bit of attention to them and they'll be done quick enough. So that's the update for these. Um, as I said before, they're really nice models, they really do look great once they're all done up, but there's a lot of detail on them, and you know, you'd be picking out little bits all over the place and everything, so, you know, they will keep you busy. So that's it for the update, let me know what you guys think, please make sure to leave a comment below and hit the like button and subscribe if you ha already haven't. Um, so then in the third part of this, this is part two, so in the third part it'll be uh, everything finished and then I'll probably just do like another video showcasing uh, the units or maybe I might do it at the end of the third one. So um, make sure to keep an eye out for that. So thanks for watching and see you guys next video.